Hello, this is Mary Pat Campbell, and today I'm going to show you how to find stuff on the SOA website. So first I want to go to this quick search box up in the upper left, and I'm interested in longevity issues, so here I'm going to go, I'm going to search. Now the SOA site has its own built-in search, not too bad, I'm getting 1790 results, but there's other ways uh, you can do the same search. Um, so let me show you those methods. You can use external search engines like Google to search the SOA website. First you type in site colon SOA.org and then we have longevity. Okay, so you can do this for any site, of course. Uh, put in your search terms. I'm just putting in a single search term, um, but there's different things you can. You see I get uh, more search results. It's fine. I'm getting a different order of search results that may or may not be useful. Now there's some cool features here in Google that you don't have on the SOA search. I can look for a specific date range, for example. So I opened options. I want to look for, I had already typed this in. Um, I'm interested in articles from the 90s. So I put in from 1992 to 2000. And I'm getting 315, so that's nice. I can see stuff that's from, the you see, from 1998, 1997. Um, I can look at what's come uh, from the past week not too much, but I'm not expecting there's going to be a lot of updates past year. There's some other features, uh, but generally you're not going to be getting as much out of uh, Google-like images. I, Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to get with that. Let's take a look. Yeah, there's not much interesting here. We got a few graphs, I suppose. So uh, you can do the same kind of search on Bing, and you can see I have done this search before, so I'm just going to pull it down from my history. It's saying 46,000 results. I'm not sure I, I'm really believing that. Um, but uh, one nice aspect of this, you see this arrow here, I can get a little bit of preview about the page. Uh, here. I'm using the Chrome browser on a Windows XP machine, by the way, if you're just curious about uh, how I am getting to these, because I don't know if these features are necessarily in Internet Explorer or Firefox. Let's go back to that search page at SOA.org. Um, I'm going to click on Advanced Search over here, because I want to try something different. Um, there are, there are some features that you can pick in the SOA search. Um, as I said, some work better than others. My favorite part is the author search. If there's a particular author I know I want, I can come over here to this button and select author. Now I am interested in finding things by uh, E.J. Moorhead. So I'm going to put Moorhead in here. Okay, you can see I've already searched on this. <laughs> okay, it's thinking. Okay, and so I get a couple names I can choose from. I'm going to select uh, EJ. That's who I want. And so now I can find. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do any further restrictions. I'm just going to uh, look for his stuff. And here we go. About 149. Uh, and I, I have stuff, you can see I have something from the actuary, 1987, um, stuff from 1978 from the proceedings. So, uh, you know, this a lot of this stuff goes back pretty far. Um, you can do even more specific, um, if you don't know the specific author, you can actually browse the SOA publications and a lot of the older publications from the SOA have been scanned into uh, their own database or website and you can get to it via the web. So from the advanced search page you'll see there's this link to publication browse and what you can do if you don't have a particular author or a search term you can just browse through prior issues and they can go back pretty far. Some of these are originally 
the, the original copies are in PDF. Some of these are scanned items. So for example, if you are interested in transactions of the SOA, you'll see it goes back to 1949. Let's see what we get from that. So we'll pull this down and take a look. Um, it's only giving me five rows per page. I don't want to have so many pages. Let's do uh, 20. So we can take a look at what we have. And you'll see here these are divided up by articles. In some of the some of the publications you'll see, uh, for example, if it's a newsletter that has um, multiple articles on uh, the same page, oftentimes you will find versions where the entire issue is scanned in, so you don't have to look at it article by article. Oh, here we go, the origin of the Society of Actuaries. That sounds interesting. So I'll click on that and you can see what uh, these kinds of files look like. Here we go. Going back to 1949, volume one, number one of the TSA, origin of the SOA. 32 page article, been scanned into PDF. Um, you can save your own copy if you wish. And as you can see, through publication browse, you can get so much material going back through the history of the SOA. So you don't have to worry so much if you have lost your own paper copy. If you know of any resources or are interested in resources at the SOA.org uh, website or any other actuarial online resources, I'd be very happy to hear about it. I can be found in the actuarial directory. Just search on Campbell. There's pages of us Campbells, but I believe there's only one Mary Pat. And hope to uh, be talking to you again soon.